I appreciate very much participating in the OPEC Fund flagship development uh, forum. Uh, hopefully, this would be one of uh, many to come. Uh, and it paves the way for the Global South to become the captain steering the wheel towards climate sustainable development. And let me here uh, say that uh, uh, what is very, very important is when we think about climate, we do not forget about development. They come hand in hand. Uh, and this is uh, also going to be one of the key messages uh, from Sharm el-Sheikh when we welcome all of you uh, there. Regional and national ownership are also and will always be the way forward to maximize the opportunities through development cooperation in the service of our nations in what brings all of us together. Our collective efforts to combat the adverse impacts of climate change is crucial to secure a sustainable future for everyone. Accelerated and coordinated climate action enables opportunities of economic growth, which is a global priority with the current economic situation. Traditional financing, however, will no longer be feasible given the dynamism and magnitude of the current global compounded challenges. Unconventional, Innovative finance mechanisms are the only way to bridge the widening climate financing gaps to ensure a smooth and just energy transition. And this is what was echoed also uh, in the previous panels this morning. Hence, leveraging and mobilizing public development and private resources from various stakeholders for climate finance in developing countries is of pressing importance. While climate action remains high on the global agenda and the primary solution to climate challenges, financing is still well short of the needs to fix this uh, gap uh, and actually push climate action. And that's why we need to work together for innovative mechanisms. Ladies and gentlemen, on the climate finance front, there has been also uh, growing support for green bonds, uh, different types uh, of uh, uh, bonds also for banks and for uh, uh, private uh, placements as well. Uh, in our case, uh, when we take a look at uh, Egypt's ODA, uh, mapping it to SDG 13, climate action, uh, we find that there's $11.9 billion, $2.8 billion to adaptation projects, and $7.8 to mitigation projects. And this divergence also reflects uh, the global uh, statistics as well. And that's why COP27 will be trying to push for what is needed today, more financing for adaptation and resilience against the backdrop of also what we're seeing uh, with the uh, war in Europe, given the importance of food security uh, for all of us. Honorable guests, to conclude, COP27 presents an important opportunity on the way towards implementing climate pledges and turning them into a reality on the ground. Egypt presidency of COP27 is displaying its clear vision from pledges to action in tackling the climate crisis through international partnerships, innovative financing instruments, and developing an international framework for innovative climate financing. This is a journey of continuous partnership, and I believe that the OPEC Fund for International Development uh, is well equipped to join us in this journey. It is time for implementation together through a just and ambitious collective action so that we leave no one behind. Thank you very much.